Hello, friends. Here we are on uh, lake number two of 11. Today's challenge, Hemlock Lake, which you have to go around, like around, because they're, uh, the whole lake is surrounded by state forest. Uh, and so there is no road that actually goes right along the edge of the lake which means that there is no road that goes along the contour, which means that if you want to go around this lake, you have to go over the freaking hills. And the first one of which is right back there. Looks rather daunting. Uh, the last time uh, I was out here on Kinesis Lake, the total elevation gain was 137 feet and 22 miles. And now around this lake, roughly 20 some odd miles, the elevation gain is two thousand feet which is uh scary because it's a long way up also super scary because holy hell how do you get down from two thousand feet on roller skis yeah so <laughs> uh here we go <laughs> wish me luck bye well, planning, planning this little hemlock adventure i uh went of course on the google maps and tried to look around for the uh, the roads that went closest around the lake, which I think is kind of like the rules for uh, this roller ski adventure. You know, you can't take the the widest, easiest valley routes. You have to go on the roads that are navigable closest to the lake. So, turns out this one road, uh, Marrowback Road, uh, that I thought I was going to go up, I uh, had no Google Street View on it, and that is because it isn't a street. <laughs> it's a dirt road. So, detour. <laughs> and now I'm on the next closest set of roads, which is this one with this monster freaking hill behind me. Oh my god. And a bunch of extra miles. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, uh, this... Uh, five to ten mile an hour headwind is uh from the north is keeping me from being too overconfident sweet anyone's feeling like getting their ass kicked i know where you can get that uh, get your ass kicked just got to the top of a big big hill beautiful view up top oh yeah it's really pretty I got to the top of this, went around the corner, I thought, okay, sweet, a little reprieve. <laughs> but no! Ah, hill just got steeper. Good thing this pavement is so bumpy, otherwise I might start to get overconfident. You might ask me, hey Mark, what uh, prepares you for roller skiing up these nasty hills? Ugh. Uh, on bumpy pavement against the headwind and I'd say oh you know anything that seems like interminable pain <laughs> like uh, graduate school or marriage uh, just kidding <laughs> graduate school wasn't really that bad no I'm really just kidding <laughs> marriage is wonderful too thank you sweetie for taking care of all the kids while I go out and have all this fun really skiing up the hills hell yeah almost to the top of the hill <laughs> Ah, dirt road. Curse you. <laughs> That's the shortcut. Drat. Okay, on we go. All right, here we are. Other side of the lake. Going up. My headwind has become a tailwind. Pavement has become nice and smooth. Yay. Now, after all this, what, what do I need? I could really use about five miles of uphill. Another thousand feet. Oh, sweet. It's looking good. Gonna get there. How come every road around here is something or other hill? Oh my god, can you see that? Ah, Lawrence Hill. <laughs> Everything's a hill. Huh, okay. I believe I'm almost at the top of this one. And then it's five miles downhill. Which should be a relief, except for the fact that I'm on roller skis, in which case it means five miles of abject terror. All right, did it. Holy cow, uh, that was kind of interesting. The uh, overall, not so bad, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, 
took me about twice as long as the previous lake, uh, which I guess is on account of all that elevation and the headwind and crappy pavement and so on. But the last five miles went quickly. Did they ever? OMG, as the kids say these days. I was a whipping down uh, this Route 15 South to little this lovely town of Springwater. This is the post office right here. Lovely town of Springwater. Yeah, um, that was just like unmitigated, super continuous, excellent pavement. Very nice people on the roads. No, not a single peep this whole day. Not one in 20 some odd miles. I don't know how much because of the unexpected detour. <laughs> Yeah, um, right, yeah, so made it all the way down. Uh, there's something about bombing down a hill that you haven't been down before on roller skis and just hoping that there's not a railroad track and hoping that there's not, a, you know, a pile of dirt in the road or gravel or something. But, um, yeah, I lucked out. Everything was fine. Whew. Alrighty then, so thank you to everybody who who is helping out to make this happen. Thanks, Grandma, for lending me the car to uh, go out and uh, to get over here. And thanks, Sarah, for taking care of all the kids while I have fun. Oh, my goodness. Woof. Yeah. All right, I'm tired. I don't really feel like doing that again. Although, doing Cayuga is presumably Cayuga Lake is presumably like doing that three times. I guess. I'm going to have to do some research to figure out how much the elevation change is. Uh, because, man, did that ever uh, feel like a lot of work. <laughs> uh, yeah, bottom line. Whew, uh, um, bottom line. Uh, if you want to roller ski around a Finger Lake, this is not the Finger Lake that you want to roller ski around. <laughs> Uh, although it was kind of fun going down from, uh, uh, down on 15. That, that was actually kind of fun, but definitely not worth the, the pain of going up the other side. Um, although friendly town, have to admit that, even friendlier than last week's. Uh, and, uh, song of the day, they, uh, the theme from, uh, what was that show that Munchie likes? I can't remember the name of it. Okay, I'll post a link because I can't remember the name of the song. But it's very cute. Okay, bye.